I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basil. Go on. Clear the way. An order member is within our reach, Bassam. And like those before and those yet to come, al Ru's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue, for al Ru is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while al Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Basim. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain, beholden to your guidance, Master. As busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights on the trial that awaits you. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty's well hidden, al -Ghul. For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding, died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. The stage is yours, Basim. I will be watching. Guide me, Hakeem. Discipline. And when the opportunity presents itself, seize it. What 
is the delay? I am not certain. Some go what away. delays your departure, friend? Someone by the name of Mas'ud saw fit to inspect my wares. And so here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. It is a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. I am not if I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure At this rate, we will be here until next sundown. <laughs> With spices and silks, there cannot be too many of those around. <laughs> We were promised steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Masoud. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before Al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. Do not make a scene. Greetings, my friend. What sorts of goods are you traveling with? Ivory and honey. And you? Are you seeking to trade? Perhaps. For now, I will browse for a little longer.
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could I interest you in some fruits and vegetables today? My pomegranates are ripe and succulent. Is that what you have come to trade? Let me think on it. Well met, traveler. The Karwanserai is rich with wares today. I was wondering if you had any goods to sell? I only deal in Durham. And what I sell are not goods, boy. Though I suppose that depends on who you ask. I am not sure I understand. I sell men, laborers. But my lot is spoken for. Could I change your mind? I have coin to spare, and could use men such as yours. Fifteen thousand. That is absurd. Who has the means to pay so much? It is better to keep that question to yourself. Be on your way now. A strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. If I am going to free those laborers, I will have to steal the deed. Do not mind me. Those two men are having a loud dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Oh! <laughs> 
louder they get, the more onlookers they attract. Now to free those men. Where, where, where is... The team? Pay me no mind. I have claimed the deed from your handler. You are bound no longer. Go! The laborers run amok. Al-Ghul will take notice. I must be ready to strike. Word will surely get to Al-Ghul. Come out and spectate, coward. now. Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just. Clear your mind.
Al Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects, like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you what. You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbiya Bureau when it is settled. That was indeed Nihal. I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe.
best I stay hidden. Keep it moving, please. Basim? It's really you? Nihal. Mm. I... Huh. Say nothing, ya Sadiq. I am as sorry as you. I have so much to tell you. And I you. We will grant each other an audience. But first, I must know something. What? Why are you dressed like a peasant? Perhaps I have less to tell you than I thought. I think I can surmise what our time apart has been like for you. And you? You have not been living here, I hope. <laughs> less living, more working. On what? Why do I know this? Because you have seen it, on the object we found at the Winter Palace. I have been trying to remember the specifics of its design. You have spent all this time obsessing over this symbol? Why? Because I too have seen it before. I know not where or when. Only that I have. Whatever it is, it calls to me. I intend to unravel its mystery, and so should you. Ah, but of course. Duty calls. Stop. I will bear it in mind if it means you will spend more time outside these musty walls than you do within. You really do spare a thought for everyone, don't you, Basim? Araki lahikan. The Order of the Ancients are far from defeated. Master Roshan is certain to have a plan brewing to uproot them. And perhaps I should look into Nihal's obsession. It seems Nihal is trying to discover the location of a secret chamber.
للاهانه الحمد لله الحمد لله I am glad you are safe الحمد لله a first of many achievements to come basim we should only hope there's still much work to do while our focus was on al ghul fulaf quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ebed and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to El Abyssia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on, then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. This should serve me well. My thanks, Ahmad. It's Abu Jaf... <laughs> oh, you jest. Every now and again. Araka lahikan, Abu Jafar. Keep well. And you, Basim. Welcome, welcome. 
Can you make this better? Take a look! Is that it? My thanks for your aid. So long. A request for help from Murjana, the daughter of Ali Baba. A trader rich beyond measure. What could the daughter of a famed merchant want? It says to meet her outside the gates of Baghdad. <laughs> 